So it has been a while, huh? I know, I am really behind on uploading videos, but in the meantime, I thought I would just upload this video from my last week in Amsterdam, where I gave my first ever big talk for a big audience. It was super exciting and super scary and all of the things, but <laughs> it happened and I, uh, it was really fun. And I'll have some new videos and a fun announcement coming soon. So it is currently 5 a.m. in Amsterdam. I can't sleep. I have a big talk tomorrow, and so of course I'm amusing myself with Instagram tools like this one, which serve no real purpose in the world. Hey, we are here at the Next Web in Amsterdam. This is the opening of the festival. Check out that big dome. That's where I spoke this morning. My name is Taryn, and for the past 10 years, I've been a professional content creator. But I'm super excited to be here today to talk about the thing that gets me out of bed every single morning, and that's what's next. So the first day of the next web is done. I accomplished my speech. I did not pee my pants. All is well in the world. And now I'm all done so I can enjoy myself, have a couple beers. There are food trucks everywhere. The Dutch weed burger, which does not contain weed. I don't think. Update, the burger does not disappoint. This is the future. I was really nervous <laughs> before my speech today. It's the first talk I've ever done in front of a large audience. I've done panels and Q and A's, but in terms of a 20 minute talk, this was the first one. So I love Amsterdam, by the way. Look at the city. Look at this beautiful sunset. That is incredible. So good. So I'm gonna go hobnob, do the thing. So this is happening right now. operating a motor vehicle while using a cell phone <laughs> to film yourself. All right, so it's my last day in Amsterdam. I decided to take my bicycle out for a little bike ride. Apparently they used to dissect dead bodies in public in that building. For the sake of science, I'm not sure. I'll have to <laughs> look that up, but this is probably one of those times where you're not supposed to be operating a phone and a motor vehicle. I bought myself a pair of vintage leather shoes. I like to try and always buy something worn in every country I go to, because then it feels like I have a piece of somebody's life that I get to bring back with me, and then it becomes part of my life. So I passed this spot last night, hoping that it would have pancakes, because it looks like a little pancake house, but I failed. I am back on a plane, this time flying over what looks to be the North Pole. I had a great time in Amsterdam. I'm excited to get back to LA and get back into making some videos. But I've just kind of been figuring out what it is that I want to do and now I've got a good hunch, so anyway, I'm excited to share it with you guys. So I arrived home last night from Europe to find this. Tiggy looks like a rat. My boyfriend decided it would be funny to shave her while I was out of town. How you doing, Tiggs? I'm so sorry. I know, I know, little rat cat. She kind of looks like a sheep. <laughs> I still love you even without all of your furs. <laughs>